Hello and welcome back to the Ross A Bespoke YouTube channel. So quite a few of you have now asked me the exact same question in the comments, which is what is the average day for a butler? Now, I could give you the cliched answer, which is also the truth. There is no average day for a butler. Every day is different, which is the thing that I love about the job. Because the requests you get are so diverse. You could be asked to do literally anything. But what I thought I'd do for fun is I've just done a little vlog of a day looking after a wonderful group at the beautiful touring castle in Scotland. So while I was looking after this group, I made uh, quite a few sort of, what would you call them, like TikTok style, three or four second videos, just showing what I was doing at individual points. So I've put those together as a little montage, who doesn't love a montage, um, for you now to show you what I got up to that day. Early start, cup of coffee, tidying up after breakfast. Assembling garden furniture. Getting ready for barbecue. Setting up drinks in the garden. Barbecue time. Serving wine. Fixing the washing machine. Organising a big screen so that the guests can watch sports. Setting up the projector. Driving the clients. Just time for another coffee break. Doing deliveries. Putting out the flags on the private golf course. Doing the ironing. Laying the table for dinner. Flower arranging. Removing wax from a marble table. Picking some fresh lavender for cocktails. Waiting for the guests to come down for dinner. Pre-dinner drinks. Decanting wine. Doing the washing up. Doing the recycling. Hanging a monkey. Taking a second just to admire how beautiful it is and how lucky I am to work in these kind of places. Now, can I say that was an average day? Well, maybe. It could happen again, or it could well be different. It was a very hot day. It was um, one of those very rare days in Scotland where it's over 30 degrees Celsius, which almost never happens. So it certainly wasn't average in that way. Um, so it was a lot more outside things than we would normally do. Um, the, the day before it, we were doing a lot more office stuff. So I had to arrange um, private jets for a client. I had to arrange flight um, transfers with chauffeur vehicles in numerous places, ones in London, ones in Scotland. So it would have been, to be honest, a much less interesting video because it would have been just shots of me sat behind a desk. Um, so I was glad that I could do it on one that were a bit more out and about, a little bit more texture, a little bit more colour, doing some fun things. Now you'll notice there's no shots of me serving dinner or anything like that. That's because, of course, I, I'm not going to show any of my guests in the videos. None of my guests are um, in there in any way. So I could only video places when I knew I wasn't going to get the guests in shot so that's just an explanation of that because you you see me setting up for dinner and then you're probably thinking well why didn't he show the dinner so that's why. Thank you very much thank you for um, joining me I hope that that gave you all but a tiny insight into the daily life of a butler. If you like this video please subscribe Please leave any questions and comments. I usually do my best to try and answer them if I can. Uh, I love having the channel so interactive 
with all of you. It, it's what makes it fun to do. It's the reason that I do it. So thank you. Bye-bye.